Hi guys, I'm Vicky, or Elvikin on Instagram. A lot of you asked me to make a tutorial on how I do my backgrounds, because apparently I cut that down pretty well. So here I'm going to do a tutorial. Let's begin. So first you bring in your picture. So here it's a pretty simple picture, but I need some more on top, so I took another one of just for my neck up. So I take this one and bring it in here. There it is. And then that should give me space, head space, to make it just a lot easier later on. Let's just keep it like that. Then you know I place it where it should be. Probably was a little bit farther away when I took this, so make it a little bigger. Make sure it fits well. And then delete to have them together. That looks pretty well. And you can see there's obvious differences, but I can live with that because it's a tutorial. So then I usually control J to make copies of those two and control E to merge them together. So I have just one copy of the originals and one of the one I'm gonna do stuff on. So now we're gonna select the stamp tool. I'm just gonna go and fix this right here. And these little stains on my wall. Then just do that. Then I'm gonna select the patch tool right here to get rid of these like obvious edges. So I'll select them. Go to a place where the wall is smoother and drag it over there and it should create a little bit smoother you can see there's still some so just go over and do that again a couple of times until you get what you want okay the wall might still look a little bit iffy but you can keep doing the the patch tool right here until it looks pretty good so that's what i'm gonna do then it should hopefully end up like this at the end. Next, I'm gonna use the quick selection tool right here and select the background. So uh, select all of the background. Make sure to select little pieces like this one right here. So you just select that. Okay, once you've selected the wall, make sure to go to refine edge because you can see a lot of my hair is not included in the selection. So go over the hair, go over this, the little edge right there, this hair over here, and then press smooth it out a little bit if you need to, feather if you need to, contrast just makes the edge sharper, and press OK. And now you have the background selected. I usually control J to do a copy of the background just so I have that there then I select that background again and go to the color balance and you know change it to whatever color I want if I want something you know greener and that goes like that and that color you see the difference and it's pretty pretty smooth you can go in and since this adjustment layer, you can, let's say I got like a lot of the bow in, you can just go in and take that off. It's a pretty useful thing. And that's about it. I usually, this wall looks pretty great, but if there's a lot of little things you don't like on it, I would usually make another layer, select the color, that I'm using for the wall. Select the wall layer and control backspace to fill that whole layer. That's just gonna make it look like a solid color. If you don't like that, if you want a little more, you should put the opacity down. It's all, you know, whatever you like the most. And that makes it look a lot smoother. You can just change the opacity so you can still see a little bit of the texture of the wall. One more thing before I end this tutorial. I 
usually just merge all of the last layers. Well, Control J and then Control E. And I go here to Filter, Render, Render Lighting Effects. Lighting effects take forever. And then do like a spotlight on me. Make sure it diffuses pretty well so it's, it's not too obvious. Press OK. And then you have a little more texture to your wall. I usually put the opacity down a little bit and then there you go. But that's how I do my walls. Thank you for watching guys. If you have any more tutorials you would want me to do, just leave a comment or send me a DM on Instagram, whatever you want. I can do. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.